Hey everybody, Joe Workman, and in this video, we're gonna be looking over the total CMS file and file depot features, right? Um, they're pretty simple, it's not rocket science, right? Um, especially if you've seen how everything works for images and you've watched a couple other CMS videos, right? So um, it's really simple. Let's jump in and see how easy it is. So here we are in the total CMS demo file. And if you're not familiar with what the content side of the file and depot stacks are, okay, it's just basically a way of listing a file or a set or depot of files, okay, and have simple download links uh, for them. Okay, so for obviously for a file, it's gonna be an individual file that will always be named the same thing, right? Uh, a great use case for this is if you wanna maintain a zip file or something of that nature, um, you can easily just have a download to that and then you can update that zip file on the admin interface, okay? Now the file depot side, it actually respects the name of the file um, that is uploaded. Okay, it does maybe a little bit of massaging, um, getting rid of some funky characters that could cause some issues, okay? But basically the file name is gonna stay the same. You can upload any file that you want. So as you see here, I have a mixture of files, okay? We have PDFs and GIFs and images and zip files and text files, okay? And the icons for those files um, are customized based on the file that it is, okay? So that's really great. Um, and then you can hover over these and it'll download that particular file, okay? There are options that we'll look at in a second that actually allow you to preview the file um, for files that are supported to be previewed. And then on the admin side of things on this page, you'll notice we're now in the admin page and everything works very similarly to how images and galleries work, okay? Um, drag and drop a new zip file here and it'll dynamically be uploaded, okay? And if you wanna click on this link, you can actually get the download link directly to that file. And this path will never change for this file. It will always be the same, okay? And same thing for depots. You can upload any file that you want, and then you can click on the link and you can get the download link to that file. And again, this URL will not change, just like it does for the file stack. Now for depots, if you upload a file that is exactly the same name as a file that already exists, it will replace that file, okay? So this way you can update existing files in a depot as long as it has the same exact name as the one that already exists. So that pretty much does it for the interface, right? It's pretty straightforward, especially if you've used or looked at any of the image stuff uh, with the CMS. Now let's jump into edit mode. So here we are in edit mode and we'll look at the total file download first. And what you'll notice is it's very simple, okay? We have a CMS ID, which needs to be unique for this particular file, okay? You have a placeholder uh, text that tells the person what you actually wanna have there, okay? And then you have your file type, and there are tons of existing file types that are supported, okay? Um, zip, Word docs, MP3s, MP4s, right? Um, this is a great way to manage a specific file that you wanna maintain. Okay, um, maybe it's not a download. Maybe it's a uh, MP4 file that you wanna use to manage inside of a uh, HTML5 video stack, okay? Or things of that nature, right? So for files, it could be used more than just for downloads. And then on the depot side, um, it looks very similar as well. We have our CMS ID, we have our placeholder text, and similarly to image galleries, we have a max height which defines the max height that this particular area will use up in the admin. So if there are more files that take up 500 pixel height, it'll basically create a container that you can scroll through, okay? Just like inside image galleries. Now on the content side of things, the settings are just as simple. Here we have the file content stack and all we need to do is set the CMS ID. You set the actual type of file it is. So in our case, we had a zip file, okay? Now you can also hide the file extension if you only wanted to, dis to display the actual file name only and not the extension. Um, you can open the link in a new tab and then you can force a file download if you wanted to, okay? This is useful for things such as maybe you wanna force the download of an image or a PDF. Maybe you don't wanna open it up in the browser, okay? If you uncheck this, it will actually open the link in the browser 
And for if the browser supports that file, it will actually just open up that file inside the browser, okay? But there are times where you actually wanna make sure that you force that download of the file instead. Now let's move over and look at the settings for our file depot, okay? We have our CMS ID. We have a style, which is a grid or a list, okay? So this allows us to actually display our files as a list as well, okay? Um, and then for, for the depot, we also have the ability to hide the extension, open a new tab, and force the file download just like we had uh, for the individual file, okay? Then for uh, the, the grid, we have the ability to display how many um, you know, files will show up in a row for tablet, desktop, and mobile, okay? Just like we have for galleries. Now, if we were to change our style to list, you'll notice that we have a few other options, okay? Um, when you use the list format, you have the ability to change the font size, potentially how many columns do you want? Because if you notice, it, it actually lists them out and the list will flow into columns of text, which is nice, okay? And then you define the minimum width of that column so that um, the actual stack will responsively change the number of columns based on the size and the device that you're on. Now, there we have it. There is managing files inside total CMS. Now, think outside the box here for a minute, right? We're just managing files, and then we can get URLs to those files. Using the file and depots in total CMS is gonna give us a lot of flexibility to integrate into a lot of stacks that you might not think of, okay? Some examples. Let's say you use my HTML5 video stack or my HTML5 audio stack, and you wanna be able to maintain the MP3 or the video file that that stack references. It's really easy to do here. All you need to do is use a file, okay, a CMS file stack to maintain that maybe you're uploading the same MP3 file, okay, or updating an MP3 that will then play on the site. Or you wanna update the video so really here, really your imagination is the limit. Another great example that users have been using is my PowerGrid CSV stack. That stack actually builds a data table in your site based on a CSV file. Well, you can maintain that CSV file using the total file stack. So you don't need to actually display the content, file content stack anywhere. You just have the admin stack on your page that maintains a file, whether it's the CSV file or an MP3 or a video, right? So you use these stacks to maintain that file and then you use the URL to that file to integrate into any stack that you want. Another great one is PDF embed. Maybe you wanna embed a PDF file and have your customer be able to change or update that PDF file. You can do that now directly inside Total CMS. Now, Will Woodgate released a playlister stack that works awesome by pointing to a folder that contains MP3 files. You can use the file depot to upload MP3 files and then point playlister to the depot folder and you're done. You now have a completely integrated playlist where users can upload new files to a depot that will dynamically be displayed inside their playlister stack, right? That is really cool, super cool, really, right? So I'm really excited to see how these work, right, for you, how we use other stacks to integrate them. Maybe not only just to provide file downloads, right, but to integrate with other stacks. That's really where the power of the CMS is. When because it has all these open standards of just linking to a file or to an image and really leveraging it to power and drive other stacks that don't even come with the CMS, right? So I'm really excited. If you have a great use case, let me know. Um, I'm really excited to see how you use this to really take your websites and the management of your websites to a whole new level. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching everybody, bye.